Good morning everyone. I hope and wish everyone is safe and fine. So today I am making a small video for you all to help you and make easy to you understand square and square roots. So square root. Square root of a number is another number which when multiplied by itself gives back the original number. For example root 49 is 7. Every radical expression has three parts. Radical symbol, index and radicant. Properties of a square numbers. If a number has 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 in the unit's place, then it may or may not be square number. If a number has 2, 3, 7 or 8 in its unit's place, then it is not a square number. Next is if a number has 1 or 9 in unit's place, then it is its square ends in 1. Next one is if a square number ends in 6, the number whose square it is will have either 4 or 6 in unit place. Now finding square root. Finding square root is inverse operation of finding the square of a number. For example, for example 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Now finding square root through repeated subtraction. Every square number can be expressed as a sum of successive odd natural numbers starting from 1. The square root can be found through repeated subtraction. To find the square root of a number n, step 1 is subtract the successive odd numbers starting from 1 and stop when it's when you get 0. The number of successive odd numbers that are subtracted gives the square root of that number. Suppose we want the square root of 36. Now 36 minus 1 is 35. Now again subtract uh, 35 minus 3 is 32. 32 minus 5 is 27. 27 minus 7 is 20. 20 minus 9 is 11. 11 minus 11 is 0. Now you get the 0. So here 6 odd numbers are subtracted to form 36 to get 0. So square root of 36 is 6. Finding square root by long division. Steps involved in finding the square root of 484. By long division method, step 1, place a bar over every pair of a number starting from the digit at unit's place. If the number of the digit in its odd, in, then the leftmost single digit 2 will have a bar. Take the largest number as divisor whose square is less than or equal to the number on the extreme left. Divide and write the quotient. Step 3. Bring down the number which is under the next bar to the right side of the remainder. Now, step 4 is double the value of the quotient. Double the value of the, double the, value of the quotient and enter it with the blank on the right side. Guess the largest possible digit to fill the blank which will also become the new digit in the quotient such that when the new divisor is multiplied to the new quotient the product is less or equal to the dividend the remainder is 0 therefore the root of 484 is 22 thank you class